Uh, whatever you want to do. I went ahead and hit record. Jerk. Just whenever you're ready. Welcome back, guys. This is episode 347 of Agrarian Skies with the creepy silent, as always, and yours truly, Chaotic. Hello, everyone. We got some more trees to cut down over here. I was in the process. Huh? That, which quite reminds me, I was making crooks, and then we got distracted by looking ahead. Uh, that's right. So, I forget how exactly you make clay. I think you have to put dust in a barrel of water or something like that. Um, let's see. No. To you make clay, you will need to use a hammer from Ex Nihilo to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. You will then right-click on a barrel filled with water while holding the block of dust. Okay, so that's what I remembered. But to get cobble, we're going to need more dirt, aren't we? Yeah, I'm working on the trees. Got to make crooks first. You just need so many crooks, I'm telling you. I okay. totally forgot about my air conditioner. <laughs> I hope it doesn't sound too bad. It'll probably get filtered out. Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad to me. Yeah. Of course, my recording mic is facing the uh, other way. That helps. Oh, you fancy with person with your recording mic? Yep. I just have a headset. <laughs> Again, this is my first official YouTube series. Yeah. You're lucky to be able to mute your mic. I can't do that with mine. Yeah, I just point my headset all the way up and it muted. Hmm. Oh, some more carrots are ready. Okay, folks. Moment you've been waiting for to see this. And wham, magic. Don't forget we can also make dirt from carrots if we have plenty of food. Uh, well, you were too late to say that because I had already forgotten if I ever knew. But... And the juicer is in the strong box, correct? I believe so. Let's juice it up. I know I don't need to use a crafting station, but I do like it. Okay, that's seven. So I think I'll take the four because I was at lower hunger. Okay. And I'll give you the three because we had seven. Now, right. this is the Silent's little hot tub, where he fishes. <laughs> by staring up into the sky. I'm still catching these live fish, which I don't think we can eat directly. You might have to go back to using a regular fishing rod then, huh? Yeah. I just like this one so much because it, it gets fish so quickly. If I had a bigger nice. pond to fish in, I it would be possible to uh, uh, get the fish raw because you have to stand in the water to catch them live, and that's the only way I can fish here. Oh, okay. But once we get that clay bucket, I guess we'll be able to make that little pond. Yep, a little pond. Now to plant the two new trees. And we'll celebrate that by chopping down the old trees. I'm going to make a oh, new chest for these the fish. Lag. I chopped down a whole tree and it didn't show it. Like, chopped down the whole tree and the next thing I know, it was back together <laughs> again. What did you say you were doing? I made a chest for those fish. Excellent. Excellent. We shall rule the world with chests. Sounds difficult. Well, it sounds like it'd be a lot of work for you. I can't be bothered with it. You shall be my minion. More carrots. Yay. I really do think picking that as a reward was a wise investment. Yeah, I think so.
Oh, and look at these fancy leather boots Silent has. <laughs> I, like he's in a fashion show or something. They're uh, slightly used, however. Well, Fish was wearing them, right? I guess so. I think I'll just store the carrots until we need them. Sounds like a good ideal. Uh, and folks, I won't be, uh, you know, getting my hunger bar completely full, just close to full, because we don't need it really full right now, do we? No, probably not. As long as you're not hungry, or where it says hungry at the top right or top left or something. Because that will actually uh, slow you down or something like that. Ah. So, well, I guess we just gotta wait on the trees, pretty much. We did use up all of our bone meal to get this far. Hmm. Let's see. We get clay from sifting dirt, correct? Uh, no. You have to... Well, sifting dirt is one step. That's how you get the stones to make the cobblestone. Right then there. you'll need to break that down with a hammer. And okay. The cobblestone becomes gravel, then gravel becomes sand, sand becomes dust, then you put the dust in a barrel full of water. Oh, I forgot to replant the new trees. Oops, my bad. Oh, well, that's what you get for leaving me unsupervised. I guess so. Well, we do have three planted out back, though, now, so... That's good. And what was that going to be again? Our fishing pole? Yeah. Men made? Okay. Right now, it's just, you know, being used, you know, to hold... to host, uh... rodeos and hoe downs. It's kind of small, isn't it? I don't know. I've never been to either one. I haven't either. Oh, so you're an expert because you haven't been? Yes. Oh, look at all these different fish he caught. Stingray. Lifespan Epic. Nice. Neon Tetra. Neon Tetra. Damselfish. Cod. Plenty of cod. Two squids, which... Could be used to make a uh, auto fisher or automatic fisher. Minnow. Uh, I think any raw fish is used for that. And night fish. Oh, that could be it. Interesting. What are you looking for? Just putting some stuff away. I see. Let's sift or sieve it up, whatever you want to call it. And we got. Three stone. How much stone did we need? Uh, are you talking about the little pebbles or the actual cobblestone blocks? Pebbles. Um, at least one, I'd say. One. At, right. One cobblestone block, anyway. Okay, that's. I was asking how how many we needed. We needed four. Okay, we have one cobblestone. Do we place it anywhere in particular? Yeah, just place it down and break it with uh, the wooden hammer. Where is that wooden hammer? Do you have it? I made uh, it. It's over here. Alright, why? Okay, I guess I'll do it then. The moment of truth. Okay, so that gravel. gave you gravel. You'll need to break it again. Oh, break it again? Okay. Yeah. And one more sand. time. Okay, and Dust. now you put that in a barrel of water. And we got clay! Yep. Oh. So that'll be enough to make one clay bucket, which I could use to start moving water around. Make that pond.
clay bucket. Oops. I think you need to place the clay and break it. Oh, I break it? To get a yeah. clay bucket? No, to get the clay balls. Clay balls, and then I just use it like a bucket. Okay. Yeah, it's crafted just like a bucket, but it's out of clay balls. And you didn't need to use the hammer, just your hand. Well, the hammer makes it look fancy. And there we have unfired clay bucket. Which I will let silent fire okay. up. Yep. All we need to do is cook it in a furnace. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I got grass seeds. Guess for uh, sifting or something? Yeah, from sifting dirt. And it's all orangey. It's orange now. Yep. Let's so... watch. Like a stalker. And it's kind of weird how it's floating, but that's okay. Oh yeah, for the uh, crucible, we need porcelain clay, which is made with clay and bone meal. Oh, bone meal. Make bone meal from bones and fractured bones. And I think that's it. Have we used all of our bone meal? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so. Hey, if we had bone combs and a centrifuge, <laughs> <laughs> that's been unrealistic. Oh well. Well, that's okay. We can get to work or on a mob farm pretty soon. I haven't built a vanilla mob nope. farm in a long time, though. And let's see, what was part of that? Mary had a butcher shop. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Create a platform at least six by six out of dirt. Okay. Oh, well, we still need more dirt anyways for that, don't we? Yeah. Oh, you had saplings on you, didn't you? Oh, oh uh, our, like a hostile mob farm, though, we can uh, just make it out of wood. Oh, oh well. But for the passive mobs, we will need uh, grass. Well... Did you want to get started on that? Um, and I'll fish for a change. I guess we could. So you want to stop recording for that? Yes. Okay. Hang on a second. All right. Ah, you have to dodge <laughs> it. Okay. Back to all seriousness. Uh, we will uh, start building the uh, the uh, mob farm. And I will fish while he does that. Maybe I'll watch him do it. Who knows? Well, you'll find out soon enough. All right. Uh, that's it. See you soon. Okay. Okay, and we're back. We're back. From doing a bunch of grindy stuff and his monstrous thingamajig up there in the sky. Yeah, I'm trying to build a mob tower. I can't really remember exactly how it's supposed to work. And I'm using trap doors because mobs see them as full blocks, even if they're lowered, so they'll be more likely to walk in. And it'll make it easier for me to get around. Alright, so, let's see. I think in the very beginning of our questing, we were looking at the librarian. Well, now I took the liberty, went ahead and investigated this bookbinder. Just requires two string and two paper, which we have somewhere. We have three paper. We only need two, and we have plenty of string. So let's craft that real quick. Voila, bookbinder. And claim reward, done. All right. That's only a quarter heart, but okay. Well, we're about to. G we have a half heart in the chest. <laughs> so if you can just throw your quarter of a heart down into the pool, I'll pick it up. Okay. And I just fell into the water. <laughs> Gotta get out first. Okay, it's on its way down. I see it! Oh, it didn't even make it to the water. It made it straight to me. <laughs> I think 
it would have just landed on the oak wood slab. But now with this, we have two halves of hearts. Uh huh. Hey. And this should bring us to a total of eight full hearts. Or extra lives. I think. I'm not sure. Well, I'm about to find out. Full heart. Eight. Nice. And we had this book binder. Which we don't quite need since... Oh, it could go into a bookcase. So, just store in the bookcase. Alright, now let's see. What else? The book binder is supposed to hold books, I believe. Yeah, but so does the bookshelf. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Did that... Which quest will be next? I think it will be... What was it? Be resourceful. How about we have a look-see at that? This would be oh, much yes. easier if I had conveyor belts, but those require rubber and some other stuff, which we don't have. Oh. Be resourceful. Before you can get far into the process of gathering resources, you'll need to have a cobble gin orator. Use hammers from Ex Nihilo to break cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. Let's get started with that. We actually need dirt. And dirt will be put into oak sieve. We'll sieve it all out and get some stone. Oh, we got exactly stone that we need for cobblestone. Problem is, we're going to need a four dirt. Actually, I do believe we have some slow stone pieces already saved up. Somewhere. Ah, here they are. Leave that out, and that gives us... Ooh, now we have total eight. Alright, now let's see. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, we will need a bar of dirt that we were saving up for a passive mob farm. Fortunately, we may even have to borrow another one. And that's four cobblestone. And we will only be placing three of it because we need to keep one as it is. I need to grab the hammer. This will give us gravel. And I just need two gravel. Now this gives us sand. And just need one sand. And that gives us dust. Open the quest book. And you'll submit. Yay, and pick a reward. We'll begin sand, cobblestone, gravel, and dust, as well as half a heart and the pick of misfortune. Nice. I'm going to forgo the full heart since we have eight saved up and pick a reward back. Same here. Oops. And now, uh, let's see. I got 16 TNT. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm getting... 64 of all of this stuff I'm about to mention. File of Essentia. File of Essentia. Okay, they're all files of Essentia, but they're different colored. And there's they're only different a... aspects. Ah. Uh, oh, shit for... Oh, yeah, all says unknown. Except one of them says Perditio X8. Oh, here's one. Ordo X8. The rest is unknown. You probably know Perdido because it's a basic aspect. There are six basic aspects, and I think you start off knowing all of them. Uh, there's a 0.33% chance to get this. It's a nice reward. Sounds nice. It's time for another double chest, I believe. We are running out of storage space. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to... I can't figure out how to do the more advanced mob tower, so I'm just going to do a very basic design for now. 
All right, that works. Oh, sugarcane seeds. I guess I'll get that planted. We already have sugarcane, though. Ah, uh, true. Guess just leave it. Oops. Well, what I could do is, what I just did by accident, break a sugar cane and then plant one. <laughs> it all works out in the end, right? Right. That's the max. I'm going to put the sugar cane in a double chest now. Okay. Oh, and there's some more carrots grown. Seven. All right, we don't have enough for, uh, well, I'm just going to juice it all up. Oh, yeah, I should probably get that half a heart from you. All right, I put oh. some more juice in the strong box. And, yes, we are surviving completely on fish and juice. The staples of an American diet when you're poor, right? Uh, oh, no way, that's ramen, right? Ramen noodles and water. Right. I'm almost out of wood again. Oh, and tick to TNT. Well, I will complain about free TNT. And some of this stuff. Okay. So we have nine lives now. I always knew I was a cat on the inside. Um. Oh, nine lives. Gotcha. <laughs> I know sometimes you tend to say random things, so I had to think. That mob tower is not looking very pretty right now. Eh. Maybe not, but uh, it looks fancy to me. I'm going to need to repair my axe soon. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the axe I was given by Silent. He made it for me. It is called Punak the Destroyer. I have no idea who Punak is, though. A fictitious being from a British comedy. Ah. I could not think of anything better for a name, so I just told him to use that. And this this is Melon, even though it says pumpkin stem. Uh, and it just does not want to grow. I just harvested a melon. Oh, well that's why. Ow. I'll just it put wasn't him in me. here. It was the other guy. Oh, what did they do? We, we, did you take the cedar or the squeezer, juicer? No, it's bottom left. Okay, it was invisible. It blended in. I choose to believe it's invisible. Maybe going back and watching this will prove the point. Okay, we have melon juice now. And there was some carrot juice in there for you as well. Okay. I'm going to wait a little while longer before trying out this melon juice. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the pick of misfortune. Stonebound, Thomic, Reinforced 3, uh, Mining Level Stone, Repair Material, Netherrack, Durability 170, Effective Durability 220, Mining speed four. And four modifiers remaining. Well, I'm going to store that with my other pickaxe. Which is the spike pick. Do we have any wheat growing? No. No, we do not. Huh. Well, I've heard that toast is a pretty good food early on. I think it restores just, two. I'm just a little worried about... You know, me using the the dirt. Well, we need 32 dirt blocks to do the passive 
mob farm. That's true. Oh, by so, the way, how are we doing on uh, producing lava? I don't know what we need for that. Is that quest? Uh, isn't it? Well, let's see. Uh, melting stone. We already did that. Yeah, oh, but wait. we still need to. It has two parts. Oh wait, we already did that. Never mind. Uh, right. the the crucible. Have you you've set that up right? The fired crucible. Yeah, I made it. Okay, what you need to do to make lava is put cobblestone in it. I think it takes several blocks. Okay. And once we get enough oh, to fill a bucket. Dirt. True, but then we'll have an infinite source of cobblestone. Hey, if you say so, I'll get to work on it. And about how many did it need? I don't know the exact number, it's several. Oh yeah, it looks like it will be like four or so. That's just my rough guess. Yeah, it sounds about right. I got carrot seeds and some potato seeds. Oh. We don't have potatoes yet. Yep, and I will plant them. Unless you have an objection. Sounds good to me. And of course, I forgot the hoe. And looks like my... What else do we need in the crucible? Just cobblestone until it starts doing something? Yeah. Do you have something like a torch below it? No. Okay. You did not inform me about that. Do I need to make a torch? Yeah. Okay. Mm, I have to... Yeah, it looks like I have to break the block. But it's under it. Oh wait, I forgot, there was some cobblestone. It looks like it's full. Guess we just wait now? Yeah. It'll take a little time to make lava. Okay. Well, I suppose we're gonna go take a look and see what Silent is doing after we get the leaves from this tree. Cause they'll give us saplings. Saplings are what makes the world go round. So it seems. It only requires eight saplings to get one dirt. While it requires uh, 14 uh, carrots. Once I get down to about, well, once I lose a total of four hunger bars, I'm going to try the melon drinks, melon juice, see how much it heals. And depending on how much it heals, I'll probably dev devote some uh, dirt to get more melon growing. Well, does it say unfilling snack? Yeah. Well, it's oh, wait, probably no. the same as other yeah, juices. Oh, so they all produce the same? I think so. That's unfortunate. You had high hopes for it, didn't you? Uh, well, I thought it would be about the same. I just thought we could get melons faster. Oh, but did maybe we? not. I don't know. You 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 dropped some uh, ladders and some oak slabs. Oh yeah, I'm sure I have. Interesting. 
Yep, I'm gonna need a lot more trapdoors. And we still can't push people, okay. Nope, that hasn't been in the game since 125. Ah. Thank you. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna need to do here is build a wall and a roof. And then it should be good to go. Let's take a look at this place. Oh, look, there's the green people's place. And no one's here. Green people? Yeah, green team. Oh. And I think that's red team. But we can't see anyone else's. I guess they're further that way. Oh, we got a big tree now. Oh, that's good. I guess I could just go down the center here. Yeah. If I die and lose my stuff, I blame you. Whoo. Whoo, that was close. I thought for a moment there I was dead. Yeah, I think I'm going to get your help to take this tree down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and look ahead in the quest book. Okay. Let's see. Can't do Mary had... Mary was a butcher or whatever it is. Mary had a butcher shop. Because we need some more... Well, the mob farm has to be finished before that. Um, let's see. The fungus thing that was going to require a lot of sand. Uh, we did be resourceful already. Let's see. So, why have we not looked at? Let's look at... Oh, I'm smelting, I'm smelting. Oh, no. This is going to be too high up for us. Because we need all that smeltery stuff. Which requires a lot of clay. Yeah. And sand and gravel will be easy to get once we have a cobble gin going. Oh, uh, once we do have this done, much later on, uh, I think uh, Silent's probably going to pick the slimy sapling reward, and I'll pick the peach sapling reward. Or we may pick two peaches. Or he may pick a reward bag. But I know for sure I'm getting this peach sapling. Mm. That sounds like it could be a good res good source of food. Could so be. that just leaves one quest open that we haven't checked out. Dust in the wind. Cars iron or gravel. Putting gravel, sand, and dust through a sieve by right-clicking will give you broken ore, crushed ore, and pulverized ores. It will also get your redstone, glowstone, bone meal, and other dust. Try sieving other blocks when you have them to see what other resources you can get. You may be surprised at what can be sieved. So while we have some, I think we have some gravel and sand and some dust, so I'll go ahead and put those in the sieve. What do you think? Um, okay. I'm gonna check how long we've been recording. Final words? Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and my recording didn't mention that we are out of time. <laughs> In case ah. I was confusing, so subscribe, like, all that good stuff. See you next time. Yes, yeah, see you next time.